wait, what is that? Ah! Hello, YouTube. It's me, Fortmaster. And this video is going to be very different than what my usual content is. Now, anyone that knows me personally will know that I am quite the avid Steam fanatic. And recently, I came across a game called Derail Valley. Now, the basis of it is, is it's basically a first-person train simulator, essentially. It's still currently in um, early access. But, being the Steam Train fan that I am, I could notice that the, the way they modeled in the Steam Locomotive is actually rather accurate to how you would actually operate a real Steam Locomotive. So, without further ado, I welcome you to a hopefully helpful guide to firing a Steam Locomotive. First things first, let's prep the boiler so it's ready to be lit. We're going to top off the boiler with water. Now, when driving, you have to be very careful not to let the water level in the boiler get too low. Otherwise, it will uncover the top of the firebox known as the crown sheet. In real life, if this were to happen, then the vast amounts of heat being created from the firebox would actually cause it to melt. Next, we begin to shovel the coal. You want to spread the coal evenly along the firebox floor so as to evenly cover it completely. In real life, they would often use the smoldering remains of the previous day's fire to help ignite a fresh fire for that day. If no suitable coals were left, then they would often just light a wood fire in the firebox and then shovel coal onto it once it started burning well enough. As this is happening, the locomotive's crew is going about the engine's motion, tapping and turning fittings while lubricating joints to ensure safe operation. Once pressure is up, the locomotive is ready to move. Make sure the reverser is set fully forward, release the brake, and open the throttle. The reverser on a steam locomotive is like the gear shifter in a car or truck, not only setting the locomotive's direction, but also how efficiently it is operating. The reverser controls how long steam is fed into the cylinders. The lower the cutoff setting, the earlier steam is switched over to the other side of the cylinder. This is done as the locomotive increases in speed to decrease the steam usage and increase efficiency. Your average locomotive would need several pounds of coal per mile, and an experienced fireman would memorize their route to make sure the locomotive had enough power for when it needed it. Well, there you go. You now have the basic knowledge needed to operate a steam locomotive. Do with it what you will. And I hope you liked this. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>